Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So this is part three of um, the Terra Scorcher restoration. At the end of part two we were searching around for a servo server. I managed to sort of bodge one up from some spare parts I had so let's just have a quick look at that. So here we have it, now it looks like a car. So we've obviously got the servo in place, we've got a decent servo server on there now. The steering itself seems nice and uh, free. And obviously we've got the, the bumper in place now. So that's, that's the car ready now for the rest of the electrics. But before I start on that, I'm gonna go um, and make a start on the body shell because if I can obviously if I can get it cut, masked and get it painted, then I could, it'll be drying while I'm putting the car together. So um, let's get cracking on the shell. Right, time to get the electrics in, um, and as I was saying earlier, spaces are the premium because once the driver's in, you've hardly got, you know, drivers right flush down to the chassis, so you've got nothing that can come above that. Um, so, what I'm looking at doing is, this little gap here is perfect for this little micro um, receiver. Get some sticky tape, double sided and that can go there. The speedo itself using the Hobbywing 1060, that's going to go on top of the server. Um, and that's pretty cool and obviously we're using the Dynatec 01R motor. And the wires, when it's in place, everything's going to reach. So that, that's going to work pretty well, so let's, let's get cracking and start installing this stuff. Right, that's the electrics in, it's all pretty solid, all fits in rather neatly, um, apart from this switch I've put here, I've just put it on double sided and it's not got a great hold but I think it'll do for what we want. Right, we obviously we have tested this before we put it in the car but before I do the wiring I might as well um, just make sure everything's working. So that's on. Steering first. Yeah, that's 
sound, that's good. And then forward. Yeah, that's the right way around. Sounds pretty meaty. Sounds good. Um, right, let's get the um, wiring tidied up and then we'll um, get on to the next step. Right, I'll see wiring tie wrapped up best I can for now because it's, it's only going to do a couple of runs this car. Um, but yeah, all seems well. Got to make sure you've got enough clearance. So you've always got to double check this driver section to make sure it's that flush, which it is. And I've always got my gripe about battery wires. They're just so unsightly. If you, if, if, it's great if you've got a car and you're keeping the car and then you can cut everything and hide it all away properly. But when you're doing what I'm doing, it's a bit awkward. Then you get that crappy battery wires. There's not a great deal you can do about it. You can't really, because if you took them upwards, it lifts the body up. That doesn't look actually too bad. No, you see, it lifts. Anyway, that's a first world problem, isn't it? So, right, we're good to go. Um, so, what's next? So, the body shell's drying as we speak. Um, so, I think we'll go on to the cosmetic sides of it now and we'll, we'll do the tyre writing and we'll sort this driver figure out and see if we can make him look a little bit more lifelike. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. Obviously I'll put the D, I'll, we'll cut this black, color this black. We'll give him some silver gloves. Um, and his face, I don't know about his face. I might leave it, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Um, right, let's get cracking. Right, so that's the cosmetic side of it done. So obviously we've got the tyres done. I've just gone over them again. Um, they're now brighter. And um, I've, the little area, errors I make, I just get a sharp um, modelling knife and just scratch it off. They're not perfect, but to be fair, after a, one or two batteries, chances are that it's gonna need doing again anyway. So I always do the tyre writing, especially on this buggy, it looks super cool. So that's those. Um, the driver's now done. Now, uh, hardly any different, but it just looks a bit cleaner. So obviously we've given him silver, he's got silver gloves on, now we've filled this bit in black. And you probably can't see, but he's got, I give him flesh colour in his eyes now, because it was like a yellow, looked like the poor guy was suffering from jaundice. So, anyway, just looks a bit cleaner. So, just what I wanted to show you, quickly, was this was obviously the original shell um, and it's great but as I was sort of banging on about I, I, I always do box art um, I just like it so I got obviously I got a new shell so I just want to show you the difference in the blues because it's it's a hell of a difference so obviously that one looked great but if you can see you know it's a completely different blue um, and I just think it makes it look a lot sharper um, Anyway, so we're going to let this harden now um, before we take the mask in. It's dry to the touch, but we'll let it harden. And then we'll take the mask in out. But I'm going to give it, leave it a couple of hours. 
So I think the next stage is I'll get the wheel adapters on the chassis and the wheels, um, put that back on and then we'll cut the decals out, getting ready for when this is dry. Right, so the battery's in, I put the wheels on, I was just having a look at the suspension, making sure. Feels really good. It's damping nicely. So, right, let's get on with next bit. Right, that's the shell done. Normally I would have done time lapse cutting out the decals and applying them, but it's a nightmare on this car. This is a, this is a one car when you use a reproduction body shell and you use reproduction decals, it's a bit of a nightmare. You've really got to take your time. The shell is a slightly smaller. I don't know if the decals are slightly out of size, but you've just really got to take your time, um, which I have, and it's turned out well, to be honest. So that's the driver figure finished, and I think he looks pretty cool now the wing and of course the shell it's come out of tray but it's, it's taken a fair bit of work um, just while I've got these bits here I just want to show you it against because obviously when you saw the car at the beginning it, you know it looks nice but I'll do it that way it's a hell of a difference I think the box art is much much nicer but again you know it's personal preference isn't it so, this is coming to the end of this video, so let's just put it together, see what it looks like. So our driver goes in, and then we've just got to stick this wing on, this little bracket tucks, not that way, that way, goes like that, and that goes over. I remember doing one of these cars exactly in exactly the same way before I went down the reproduction route, which you have to do because you can't get hold of new stuff. And I remember it being a bit of a nightmare. It's worth it, but it's it's hard work. You, um, it's not something you can rush. Right, that's the wing. What do we need? And then finally, the shell. Aerial through, and then lift that up, slide that through. That goes down. I'll just put a bit of silicon spray on the tyres as well, just to give them a bit more of a sort of new look. So there we have it. Looks pretty cool. That driver looks good now. It's come alive. So, that's it. <laughs> so, if you've made it to the end of this video, many thanks. Um, please stay tuned for the next one where we'll, we'll get the old girl running. Um, super excited about that. That's going to be really cool. Um, so, once again, as I said, um, thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, if you could consider liking and subscribing, that would be awesome. And uh, happy RCing, guys.